In third grade, we've been studying how to calculate length using an inch ruler. So we started off just looking at inches themselves. We can see that this is our zero mark on our paper ruler. A line segment this long would be one inch. A line segment this long would be two inches, and so on. Okay, that's kind of the easier part. But in third grade, we're also learning how to calculate the length of a shape that's or a line segment that's less than an inch or a little more than an inch. Not exactly count by inches, whole inches. And that brings us to fractions. So, in order to break up an inch into a fraction, you have to split it up into equal parts. Let's look at these equal parts here. Here's your inch, and in order to find the half inch mark, you have to split it into halves. And all halves means are two equal parts. Notice the two down here. If you don't understand what I mean, I'll show you the equal parts. Here's one equal part, and here's two equal parts. And these two parts make up the whole. Another way to say it would be, this is zero halves right here. You haven't gone anywhere yet. This is one half. You're halfway to the inch. And this is two halves. That's right. Another way of saying one inch is two halves of an inch. Okay? But in third grade, we're not only learning how to calculate up to, uh, or estimate or calculate inches up to half an inch, we're also calculating up to fourths of an inch. So usually when I split up my fourths, I, it's, easy, it's easier when you have a half ready for you. Because what is a fourth? A fourth is four equal parts. And that's double two equal parts. So all I really have to do is just double up here. This equal part becomes two equal parts. And this equal part, this half, becomes fourths. And you're probably thinking, no, I only see two blue line segments here, or two blue hash marks here. Well, guess what? Watch this. This is going to be 0 fourths right here because we haven't gone anywhere yet. This is going to be 1 fourth. This is going to be 2 fourths mark. This will be your 3 fourths mark. And this will be your 4 fourths mark. And now you can see where the fourths of an inch are. So if you see a line segment like this, and it's this long, you could say it's a couple different things. You could say that it's almost a half an inch. Or you could say it's almost two-fourths of an inch. Either way would be correct. Okay, moving on. We don't have these normally. Normally we have these. Always make sure that if you're talking about inches, you're on the inch side. Do you see that? I almost moved to the centimeter side. So a special thanks to Nathan for loaning me his ruler here. You can see this is the zero mark. And this is the one. Okay. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Split it up into halves first and then fourths. But the issue with this is you've got a lot more hash marks. So let's be careful when we do this. We're going to split up the one inch into two equal parts. There it is. And what is that called again? This is called the one half inch mark. This is zero halves, and this is two halves. One half, two halves. Now we'll split it up into fourths. Take your half, turn it into two. Take this other half, turn it into two. One fourth. Two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths, or one whole. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Okay? These other ones here, you see these guys, the ones kind of in between the fourths? Those are eighths, and you'll talk about that probably when you're a little older. Okay. It's one thing to divide an inch up and just look at it. It's another to actually try to measure some line segments. So let's give it a try. We'll start by doing the nearest half inch. So if you look at this line segment right here, you have your ruler. 
Make sure you line up the zero with the first endpoint and look at the other endpoint. Now the first thing I notice is this is a pretty long line segment. It's longer than one inch. If this is my zero inch marker and this is my one inch marker right here, I know that it's longer than an inch. So I have one inch and a fraction. The question is, what's the fraction? We're going to get to the nearest half inch. So let's label our halves. Here's one. Where's, where's two? Right here. And where's one and a half? Right there. That's one and a half. So what is the nearest one inch marker? I mean, excuse me, what is the nearest one half inch marker? Is the end point closest to the one? Is it closest to the one, uh, one and one half? Or is it closest to the two? The answer is one and one half inches. Good job, let's try another one. Uh, let's look at this one here. Remember to line up your end point right on the zero. Some of you might not have a zero, a little extra zero right there. Some of you might just have to start right at the end, depending on your ruler. All right, so here we go again. Look at this. This is the one inch mark right here. This is your zero. And I can already tell that it's longer than one inch. Oh, actually, not only is it longer than one inch, but it's, that's right, there's my two inch marker. Okay, so we're, if we're counting by half inches here and we're trying to around to the nearest one half inch, is this closer to one and a half inches or is it closer to two? There's your answer, two inches. Last one. Line it up at the zero. Ooh, here's the one, here's the two, and... Here's the three. So we know we have one, two, oh, we don't want to go all the way to the three. And we're rounding to the nearest half, so let's figure out where the two and a half marker is. There's the two and a half hash mark. Okay, is the end point closer to the three inch mark or to the two and a half inch mark? You got it. If you're rounding to the nearest half inch, this would be your answer. Okay, let's check out fourths. Again, in third grade, we're rounding to the nearest one-fourth. That's our standard. So we've got our zero-inch mark, our one-inch mark, and here's our two-inch mark. Okay, this time we're splitting it up into fourths, though. So we know it's longer than one inch. We don't have to split that up into fourths, but we do have to split this inch up into fourths right here. Remember, first you find your half inch, then you find half of that half, and you find half of that half. This is one and one fourth, one and two fourths, and one and three fourths, and one and four fourths, or two inches. What's it closest to? It's a little bit closer to one and three fourths. Right there. So the answer would be one and three fourths inches. Okay. Let's find the length of this really long one here. Whoa. Maybe we won't do that because this is so long. Wow. You know what? Let's skip that one and we'll do a really tiny one. Got it lined up with the zero. We're estimating, or we're measuring to the nearest quarter inch or fourth inch. So here's my zero marker. Here's my one hash mark. And we have to divide this up into fourths again. So here's my half inch mark. Where's my quarter or one fourth inch mark? Two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, or four-fourths. All right, take a look. Is it closer to the three-fourths inch mark or the one-half or two-fourths inch mark? The answer is 
two fourths or one half inches. You're going to want to say two fourths though because we're measuring to the nearest fourths. All right. You know what? Just for fun, let's try this last one here. Got to challenge ourselves, right? All right. Here we go. Again, we're going to measure the nearest one fourth. Here's my zero, one inch, two inches, three inches, and four inches. Wait a minute. Look at where that falls on the line. Do I even need to do anything? One, two, three, four. It's right on the four hash mark. So the answer is to the nearest fourth of an inch. Hope this video helped you learn how to measure length to the nearest half inch and to the nearest quarter or one fourth inch. If you have any questions, you can email us.